What is up, everyone? Welcome to Max on Deck. We are uh, we're back. We're here. It's Tuesday. Oh man, I don't know. I feel it. I know we did it Tuesday last week, but for whatever reason, I'm still kind of off because of changing it from doing the flip flop two weeks ago. Yeah, it happens. I'm just happy that I got it my Sunday. I did my job. <laughs> I got it out on Sunday. True, um, true. You did. I was a little bit afraid afraid earlier because we typically, if you don't know, Chad, we talk, we hop in the Discord call for this like 15 minutes early. Chewie was a little late today, and I was like, I was like a little bit of like a minute or two away from being like, "Hey, dude, Tuesday, <laughs> it's Tuesday." Did you forget? <laughs> forget it's Tuesday. <laughs> I had I had some 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 build up on my desk. Hey. I was like, I need to get this salt. And I was doing something. Oh, I was writing something out. Um, but no, uh, for those who don't know, I'm on summer break. Um, X on deck secrets. Yes, secrets will be revealed in a little bit. Um, so how have you been, man? You had a rough day. You had a rough start <laughs> to your day. It, yeah. it, it ends on a good note, but yeah, it does. I had. You know, I, I recently moved uh, like three weeks ago now. Uh, I moved and I moved significantly closer to work. I have like a five minute drive to work. It is fantastic. It is the Amazing. best. Um, and, you know, the uh, well, I didn't actually tell you this. I was I stayed home on Monday because I had this is a new thing for me. I had a migraine, second one ever, in the, and it, they've been within like two months of each other, so I don't know what the hell's going on there, but, uh, but yeah, so I had a migraine Monday, decided not to go in to work, and uh, so I didn't drive, um, and I hadn't moved my car since Friday, and then I hop in my car this morning, getting ready to work, and I'm, you know, I'm ready, I'm feeling good. You always feel that like little extra power up after you feel really bad for one day and you're like, mm -hmm. you're like ready to go. And I go in, I turn the corner to get on uh, the street. That's, that's right in front of my apartment. My car's like lost pressure, left rear tire. I'm like, what the fuck? Come on. <laughs> so stop at a gas station. I'm like, all right, cool. They got free air. I run inside. I was like, I don't have, I'm a bad car owner. I don't have a, uh, uh your, your five, six quarters. I, well, I don't have the little, uh, a uh, pressure gauge, pressure gauge and QT has free air. So they don't have the little pressure gauge thing on it. It's not fancy. Like the ones you have to pay for where you can put in exactly what it's supposed to be. And it just yeah. automatically does it. Um, so I went in and grabbed one. I come back out and I'm starting to put air on the tire. And as I'm putting it in, I see the nail. I'm like, God damn it. And it's raining. And I'm like, I can see the bubbles from the air coming out of the, the nail area mm. from, and I'm just like, I'm going to have to change this tire. So I sat there, changed the tire, got all gross, laying on the ground, changed it. And yeah. And it was, it was unfortunate in a five minute drive. I got a flat tire and uh, yeah. And then positive note of that story if you have a discount tire near you they're great because i took my car in i made an appointment as soon as i got to work for lunch time i was like oh, i'll go take it there you know i can go and grab some i'll walk to like a fast food place go get some food and and while they fix it i was expecting to have to pay some money they patched it up checked all the other tires made sure everything was good and uh it was completely free so shout outs to Discount Tire. Discount Tire. If you're looking to sponsor a keyboard content creation <laughs> channel, hit us up. Dude, I'd love some discounts on tires. Hell yeah, dude. Now let's also get that Sonic discount too. Oh, I do have mail. That's too far away. <laughs> um, next, maybe on the maybe on the on the the subathon stream. Maybe on the subathon stream. Tires for gaskets. There you go. Let's get a let's get some Goodyear gaskets. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. um, well, yeah. I mean, glad the the story had a happy ending. Um, I've done almost nothing. Well, okay, I, I was actually I got out of the house today. Um, you know, I got up, did my walk, and then I went 
So I, I may have talked about it last week where I like get everything ready to grill and then I get out to the grill and the grill didn't work for like my apartment complex. I was like, ah, all right. <laughs> so hit on my parents. And for those who don't know, um, it's basically been shitting rain the last like five days, like just nonstop. Dude. Yes. And so yesterday I told, I told my dad, I was like, Hey, can I come grill? Like I'll come visit and I just need to use your grill for like 30 minutes. He's like, yeah, absolutely. So I went and visited them today. <laughs> I was planning on doing it yesterday and it's just pouring. And I was like, well, I don't think I'm going to be grilling today. <laughs> I sent him a message. I was like, it's probably not the day I'm going to, he's like, yeah, I figured I wouldn't see you today. <laughs> so, uh, but I got, I got to grill, um, you know, like I, we were talking about this last week, those, those fro, I mean, those frozen patties that you get from like Kroger, Walmart, whatever, like just the 80, 20 frozen in a pinch. If you're just looking for like a quick burger and maybe it's, and, and typically what I do with those burgers is that's where I get fancier on the toppings. You know, I'll put yeah. lettuce, I'll get a red tomato and cut it. I'll get some nicer pickles. Maybe get a little fancy, maybe put some hot sauce on it. Get, you know, the, 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 you get, you can be a little more creative because it's the burgers about the whole whole thing, not about just making like good meat. Um, so and then grilled some chicken as well, and then came home. Um, and just been kind of chilling, chillaxing. Burgers were invented not to be. Fa- I mean, yeah, exactly. Like, you know, they're yeah, not well, fancy burgers to be. though. Are pretty, are pretty. They good. can they can slap, but like my favorite burger is just. Pepper jack cheese, meat, mayo. Boom. That's, That's it. just amazing. That's it. The meat can speak for itself. I think my second favorite is the five guys. And I get the grilled jalapenos and add mustard to it too. And it's just like regular cheese. hundred burgers. What are you, Randy from Trailer Park Boys? Maybe. Dude, hundred burgers. Maybe. Dude. We need to take a trip to find the crystals, dude. We're going to have to go that side of the Mississippi. <laughs> um, if you don't know what and, crystals is, yeah, you're it's missing. Like, it's basically, it's White Castle. But for yeah, the South. better. Yeah, it's like Southern <laughs> White Castle. There's more grease. Um, Hell yeah. But no, um, I didn't get much mail, but I will show what's on my desk. Oh. Is missing from my background. This is the bumper by Zap Cables, GMK Peaches and Cream. The OG Peaches and Cream. The OG. My camera definitely makes it look way more orange than it is in real life. But uh, I've also got the tiny Prime Caps Lerve special that they did. Um, no, it is not for sale. No, I am not trading it because every time I show this off. Somebody hits me up. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah. So well, it's one of those like they made four of there's like five different caps in this color. And then they only made like three or four of each of them. And so people are trying to complete the set. Um, so, yeah, it's the bumper. It's got 89 gram blueberries. Luba 3204. It's probably my best sounding board because it's just a hunk of polycarp. Um and I absolutely love this thing. So, and I wanted something a little smaller. Uh, I had the Saturn, which is back there uh, on my desk for a while. And it was funny when I put this on my desk, I was like, holy fuck, I have so much space now. <laughs> Dude, we'll say Saturn looking fantastic back there. It looks great. Oof. I like how it just instantly came into focus too. Right? It's like the camera knew to look for it. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, what about you? So <clears throat> I don't have any mail. Uh, I didn't get any mail in this week. I'm still like not not doing it right now. I'm trying to figure all that out. <laughs> um, but what's on my desk? It's the board I built. Well, kind of. I built on Saturday the Bakken Neko. Assembled. <laughs> I assembled it. Um, so I am using i i for all of those who watched that stream um tested out two different switches tested out the hippos and the lavenders symmetric springs and non-symmetric springs just like the stock springs and conclusion 
Symmetric springs are the way to go. Both switches sound good, feel good. Um, I think hippos will sound better in a metal plate because they are a little bit like deeper sounding. I think that they will benefit from the brightness of a metal plate, whereas the lavenders do sound really good in a non-metal plate because they are a little bit snappier. They're a little bit crisper, a little bit higher pitched. Um, so I'm using the lavenders with a 63 and a half gram uh, springs, uh, symmetric springs, which King Friday the 7th asked, what are symmetric springs? Basically like the super mega ultra long ones. Like they're like this long. Um, and yeah, I really like this board. Uh, sorry to the people who didn't, didn't get a Baca Neko yesterday, including, uh, Brian from top clack, uh, who didn't, didn't get it and check, tried to check out in less than a minute, but, uh, Boomer. but yeah, I like this board and I think it looks really good with metaverse on it. I think it looks really, it, really lo good. it looks real clean. looks real clean. So, and metaverse uh, is one I of like my favorite it. sets. There you go. There you go. I got mine in black, so I'm really excited to. I think I'm gonna put uh, Modern Dolch on that. It'll be a good. Okay. I think Modern Dolch looks really clean with a black set. Um, no, I'm excited. You know, let's let's talk about first off before we get too into it. I want to give a shout out to our awesome sponsors and partners. We've got uh, Omni Type Project Keyboards, Canon Keys as well as Kinetic Labs, and then uh, at the partner level, Zap Cable, Smith & Rune, Type Beast, and 3D Keebs. Shout out to 3D Keebs. Uh, slowly opening back up, slowly getting back to it. Rock yeah. on. Um, so, <clears throat> Osiris loves a weeb set. Yeah, absolutely. I do. Um, do you know the name of the video game that that set is based on? Persona 5. There it is. Okay, look. He passed the test. All right, what's the blood type of the second main character? Listen, <laughs> I know nothing about the game at all. You call but I know it's from. Fan. It's based on Persona. Persona Five. There it is. Um, so let's get into this. The Bacaneco sells out very quickly. Um, no surprise. Um, we were we there was a there was a dot. Uh, what's it called? Um, the the New Yorker magazine released an article and we had talked about how the Bacaneco was one that we think um now I've not I've I've typed on one, I haven't put one together, but um I do plan on building mine here in about two weeks during the subathon. But just the value of it, it's one of the best boards you can get getting into this hobby. Uh I mean caps plus if you can get those sugar plum caps and I know he's gonna release more sugar plum caps and a handful of switches you're walking out what 250 yeah for a complete board maybe less so if you can that. get some, maybe less 130 bucks for for the baka so 130 i mean if you can get one of those white uh those white keycap sets the kinetic labs just like the black on white with like a white keycap set or what with a white baka i know those sold out probably first um and some solid switches, like some lavenders, where you don't even have to fucking do anything to them. I mean, that's what, that's just over 200 for a fully custom build. And it comes with stabs, comes with the PCB, comes with the plate. So, you know, it's, it's highly recommended. Things that are, that are inexpensive are going to sell out, and they're going to sell out quickly. You're, you're not limiting the people that maybe don't think that they want to put Two hundred dollars into a keyboard. Maybe they only want to, you know, five hundred dollars into a keyboard. They only want to put two hundred. It's a great board, and it's been reviewed heavily recently, and it's just gaining momentum. So, and he, but he has said, I plan on releasing more of these soon, and he did. There was about a month ago. Yeah, it's like a and month, it's, month and a half. Yeah, like you know, four to six weeks, and it's a board that you know, with that kind of release, you're also getting it immediately. So it's not like it's, Oh, every four to six weeks, I'm going into group by it's every four to six weeks. I have a chance of getting one. And I think that's, it's like just props to cannon keys. Yeah. Yeah. And one above all in, in chat says he wished the finish could be a bit more refined. I mean, I get it, but it is a painted board. Like you do have to kind of like, I don't know. I mean, I think it's my finish looks pretty good. It does have, I mean, it does scratch relatively 
easily. Like if you put metal onto the, like metal on metal, it scratches up. Like I, I can imagine the USB port over time is going to be pretty scratched up. Um, but, it's a beater board. But yeah, it's like, it's one of those things, a board like this at 120 bucks is fantastic for people who are just getting into the hobby. And also like what I'm going to be using it for is just to have a board that I can just put a brand new switch in and just try it out. It's got a, yep. I I've got a polycarb plate I can use. I can go pick up a metal plate if I want to use one um, and be able to try out switches in different plates, different uh, form factors. And it's not, it's easy to take apart. I don't have to worry about like my biggest thing about tray mount boards that are hot swap is the fact that I have to unscrew all the damn screws and losing <laughs> the, the, the time that you just, it falls off the end of the screwdriver and it gets lost in between the plate and the PCB. You're like, come on, man. Then you gotta unscrew it. You gotta shake it to get that little screw out like this. I can just, you know, push it down. And we're good. And it, uh, it feels good. It feels nice. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. And I mean, yeah, you can paint it your on yourself. Streaking Bison Ask Ballpark Cerakote cost probably fifty to anywhere between fifty to a hundred dollars. Um, now, if you want to, I mean, if you know, I say a hundred, it's probably not going to be quite a hundred. But also, I don't know. You know, that's the shop that we did ours at. That's about what you'd be expecting to pay in that range of fifty to a hundred, depending on what Cerakote you use and you know how difficult it is. Um, but you know, if that's something you want to do where you go, okay, maybe I'll Cerakote it. I'll spend another $60 on it. I'll Cerakote it. And then I know that it's not going to, it's going to, you know, not be as bad. It would be an interesting option to see if you could sell a few of those raw. Like, I think that would be a cool option if you wanted to get a few raw, um, or maybe even do like a group buy for them raw. Cause then it's just, let's <laughs> just get them in the shop, send them right back out. Um, but you know, it's a, when I say it's $130 PCBs are expensive. Plates are expensive. This is not a super duper high quality board. Uh, thank you, Brian, <laughs> but it's not a super high quality board, but it doesn't need to be. And what I, what I, you know, Eric and I had a long discussion about this either yesterday or Sunday about the Baca Neko, which is just, this is a board that doesn't have it. It's, it doesn't have to be amazing. And the fact that, it's you're able to get it at that price. It comes with a carrying case, which is amazing. Um, and you know, the fact that you can test a bunch of switches with it and all that, this is just, even if it does get a little beat up at the end of the day, it's a solid board. And while it might, if you're, if it's getting beat up, it's just paint chipping away. I mean, the boards that we get the seven, $800 boards, they're going to be, they're going to get beat up over time too. Just a little bit slower. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it is the beater board and with a carrying case, it's like, it's like made to be stored too. That's the other piece yeah. is like, I don't feel bad. Like, I, like for boards that I don't have cases for, I feel bad that they just like sit and just get dust. Mine is like, you can't. Oh, actually my Bacon Echo is right here. You can't really see here. I'll, I'll, I'll add in some light, show off the, uh, so my case is right here for the Bacaneco. For those who are wondering, this is where I keep all my stuff. And it's just, you know, it's a nice little case. It's, it just sits there. It, yeah. And I mean, right now it's unbuilt, but it will be built soon. But yeah. yeah, it doesn't have to be amazing, but it's an opportunity to be groundbreaking in this. Yeah, 500 plus. Yeah, it's great. It's one of those things I feel like I was surprised at how good it was for $130. Um, now that's saying I haven't really spent a bunch of time with like an NK 65. There is a, there's obviously some compromises you have to make with it. Um, if you know, with the, with the stock PCB, um, you know, you are doing like a full classic 60% layout. So what up Kaner? Um, you are doing a stock 60% layout, you know, full right shift, which I don't think I've done in almost three mm. years. Um, but you can also get a solder bowl PCB and get another plate and just swap it out because it's got a freaking daughter board, which is sick. Yeah. And that top clock brings up the, probably the best point. God, we just need to 
Brian, come on the show. Uh, well, actually, is. next week you yeah, I was about to say next week I think you are. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it, anyone can make that's it's very true. You can make a solid like five hundred dollar board. Yeah, you're you're gonna have you're gonna be able to do some crazy shit with. It. The real challenge is, you know, it's kind of like the cooking shows, right? What can you make with limited ingredients or what can you make with, you know, something that's not yeah. going yeah. to. That's why know. Top Chef is like, here's this weird ass ingredient. Figure it out. <laughs> yeah, figure it out. And you're like, I made this. And they're like, this is amazing. That's that's the show of a good board. And God, I feel like. Honestly. America got its tofu. It got its five degree case. Stacked acrylic boards are great. Don't get me wrong. There are two sitting right here. They're they're solid. They're not one hundred and thirty dollars. I can tell you that right now. But and that's nothing against SM keyboards. SM keyboards pumps out amazing stuff. But he's getting into the more complicated things. He's getting into the more fancier items. And those boards are worth the two hundred something. That I think is in the two to 300 range, depending on what you get. And you get a lot of cool stuff with it. $80 at when you're talking 200 versus 130, that's a huge gap, you know, between 430 and 500. That's not nearly as much because you're already spending so much money. 130 versus 200 is fucking massive. And, you know, for just, again, for what you get, it's, it's a, it's a fantastic deal. I hope he continues to, pump these out quickly uh because i'd love to get to a point where we see these just in stock yeah um just and able to stay in stock because these boards are boards where i can go you know hey yeah you, i want to get my friend in the hobby well i got some switches laying around and hey okay for 180 bucks 200 bucks go buy some caps and this board and i'll sh and then and then i'll show you how to put it together you know, I think it's just, it's a cool little thing. If you want to get you know your friend into it, if you want to get your husband or your wife into it, um, this is a great thing to do. So, yeah, no frills. Also, Gerald Juby, I did in fact move, um, about two or three weeks ago now, three weeks ago, but yeah, I'm excited for the person that comes in. Nothing against Gerald Juby, but I'm excited for the person that shows up in like eight months. They're like, Eric, did you move? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it'll, it might happen. I don't know. I feel like my background is less. It's literally just now my living room and kitchen. It's not as like. I, maybe I should yeah. set up my green screen behind me. Yeah. And just. I thought <laughs> about. Have a green I thought screen. about for the first week. Setting up. Going out back to like a. Uh, to like a build stream where i was full cam and clipping out the old mm. background and putting the green screen up and making the old background in the green <laughs> screen but uh but yeah no i uh plus you could you could do one up i'm oh, sorry uh you could do it where you're sitting in front of the storefront that we have dude. that generally being that would be a cool one um but no it's you know it uh, uh to those who are getting mad, I've seen some criticism about well, they're making false scarcity. That's the stupidest shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, but like, can't I guarantee you, Canon Keys is not sitting there. No one in this hobby is sitting there going, okay, maybe some, but like, I'm only gonna sell 300 so that I can create an artificial scarcity for a product that's trying to make me money. <laughs> like, no, yeah. no. Well, and that's I feel like. I feel like we had this same reaction when the uh, like obliterated, wrecked, uh, brutal, savage series all released. And, and people, now those are all just sitting. <laughs> yeah, and now they've just got them in stock. Like they've got boards. If you want to buy them, you can get them. Um, you know, it's one of those things. It will get to a point where those the Bacanecos are going to be available. We pass this whole thing with the Bacanecos and the the brutal series is to have them available to where if someone wants to buy them, they can buy them and get them in the next week. Yep. Like that is his whole thing with those two options. The KBD fans of America. Yeah. That's like, it's cool. <laughs> and that was the, that was the deal we saw with NK 65. Same idea. People got pissed that they couldn't get it. And it's like, you will be able to get it. 
just wait. It, it will exist again. It's not a GMK keycap set. It's not a, you know, small run keyboard where it runs once and you are lucky if you can get around two. Like these are going to get back in stock. Yeah, you may have taken an L yesterday. You may take another L, but eventually you'll be able to get it. Yeah. So speaking of some some positive things, you told me Poner got himself a job upgrade. Well, I'd assume a job upgrade. Well, yeah. I mean, it's it's one of those things. It's a uh, I think it's really cool and it's really important that this happened for the community. If, uh, for those of you who are not aware, uh, Key Cult made an announcement. I believe it was uh, last week, about a week ago, um, last Thursday, that Poner is joining the Key Cult team as their full time designer, uh, which I think is awesome. Uh, if if you're not familiar with Poner, he's been designer. He runs Ion keyboards, um, and one thing that's really cool about this is that Ion Keyboards is not going away. So he is continuing to use, to, to do Ion Keyboards uh, independently, as well as working for, uh, for Keycult. And I think that's awesome because as we've seen with Keycult, as they've continued to grow and they've become a larger and larger business and put out more and more boards, uh, higher, higher numbers, Riot and George just can't do like everything. Yeah. Like there's when a business gets to a certain point, the owners have to start doing day to day and have someone that's there doing big picture stuff, doing, you know, people doing Delegating design. Just... Like you can't just, you just can't do everything. Um, mm -hmm. And I think it's really cool to take someone who is already known in the community, is already well respected for uh, what they have contributed design wise coming in and just helping them out, helping them out and be able to bring a fresh look to uh, Keycolt as a brand. I'm sure it'll still maintain the design elements that people know and love from Keycolt, uh, but it'll be cool to see uh, what Poner pumps out with, uh, with Keycolt. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see if it's kind of like like the TGR Singa, the unicorn, or if they'd kind of do the Poner Key Colt, or it's the Ion Key Colt, um, where they kind of do both. Because I'm curious, you know, I know Riot is a fantastic keyboard designer, but I'm curious to know if this means more boards, which excellent, awesome, um, that'd be fantastic to see, or if it's going to be kind of more of like, hey. I'm maybe they're just manufacturing the ion boards and, you know, through the key cult service. And that again would be awesome. I'm glad to see, I know they also picked up someone to help run their uh, CNC machine, which I, that was to be expected quickly is like, you need to teach someone how to just get that part done because then, you know, riot can go do what riot needs to do. And um, George, well, George and specs, key colts with 14 magnifying glasses and i'm sure that doesn't take uh you know five minutes to knock out so very cool to see that they're expanding um and because that's what three so, sort of four people working with them now um and i know that their their wives have been helping too but it's cool to see them expanding and growing and that that only means more key colts and the only people that are going to be mad about that are the people that are worried about their precious board prices falling, but they're not going to anytime soon. Dude. Um, yeah. And just more board availability. It'd be cool. It'd be cool to get to a point where key Colts were in stock and truly fucked the market. <laughs> I don't know if that will ever be a thing necessarily. I think oh, that I they will it. always try to like, or at least be re able to innovate a design to where it's like a new edition yeah, or a new number. Uh, rather It'd be than cool to where they could get out. like a turnaround time where you order it and they could right. get you a, a, a turnaround time is for like the personalized ones are pretty quick. And that would be nice. Um, yeah. I think that's the main goal is to work through. They, they said they're working through design backlog, uh, which means faster turnaround times with projects. And they'll be working with him and George. 
on lots of exciting stuff going forward, including new form factors and designs. So there's that. And then, uh, yeah, ion keyboards will be completely independent and will still continue to operate um, as a as separate ion. entity the, to uh, Key Cult. So it's going to be really cool. Um, and I'll be interested to see uh, what they do for the, the, uh, the entry level market, as uh, Top Black says. Because I, I think that's, that's a, a segment that they might want to get into now as they get bigger and bigger. Um, is, Something uh, that's easier to pop out. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Also, shout outs to them for paying a very, very reasonable and livable wage for their CNC operator. I did the math. It's like over 40 grand a year. So hell pretty, yeah, pretty freaking good. Hell so. yeah. Respectable wages. That's what we're here at Bex on deck. <laughs> Ayo. Um, so guys, real quick, keyboard of the week. This uh, for this month is any anything. Post your pictures. So if you go to our Discord, um, there's not a lot of entries keyboard. right now. It does, it does have, have to, to be, be keyboard, keyboard, and it needs to be sh- able to be shown on stream. Um, but post your pictures. Keyboard, keyboard, KOTW, post all your pictures. We will go through them and vote. And for the month of June and July, it is basically anything goes. And the winners of each month will get their, they will get their picture as the headline of a calendar that we were working on at the end of this year. So, uh, till 40 K is a good wage. Yeah. Well, I mean, we don't need to get into that discussion. <laughs> that's, that's, be- that's better than given, a lot. You have to remember where they are. Also, yeah. you know, you have to so. think about, uh, you have to think about where they are. It is a hundred percent dependent 40 K yeah. in downtown you know la LA? (laughs) peanuts but in raleigh north carolina pretty damn good yeah so absolutely well we have we have hinted at this quite a bit some of you may already know um well i'll let you i'll let you announce and then we'll talk about the history of why this is a thing yeah, so we have made dogs for, for sausages for dogs. <laughs> yeah, we've got switches for dogs, dude. You need a keyboard for your pup or two. You know, funny, that could happen. So there's an entire segment of like online where uh, it got really popular on TikTok and YouTube where this girl was teaching her dog how to speak and she's using buttons. And my first thought was, you could make that. You can make a mechanical keyboard for your dog because you click the button and it says a it says a human word. So it'll be like outside. Outside, you know, you could do that. But more serious note. <laughs> Sorry. For, OK, she yeah, keeps <laughs> talking about the 40K a year. <laughs> Put it to rest, all right? 20, it's 20 <laughs> bucks an hour. 20 bucks an hour, it's pretty, pretty good, I would, I would say. For someone that's starting out, low level, pretty, pretty solid. Um, but we have been working on a Switch. We've, uh, we've had, obviously, Chewy was the one who made Zykos, which I think people get people. I was, I look at it every now and then, and people don't understand where the name come. They think it's a meme, but it's, it's not a meme. It's, it's literally three words. Yeah. They're like, they don't Eric understand. Eric was there when I made it up. They think it's a meme, but it's not a meme. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so we made a switch. Obviously, Chewie made the Zykos. And there was a, we had an idea of like, what can we do to make something that has a similar sound, but a good feel with switches that already somewhat exist. So what did, what did we do? Chewy? We made, uh, well, <laughs> I have basically what it is sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> um, so these aren't the colors. Uh, you have a picture if you want to pull it up. Oh yeah. So I didn't even think about that. The um it, it starts with it starts with a Moyu black, right? So we we tried these Moyu blacks, which is and we're like, damn, these are 
these are solid switches. These sound really good. Um, and they feel really, really good. These are, you know, these are clean. I've got mine and my, my squid 60. I forgot what board you put yours in. Um, or did you put one? I haven't used the Moe blacks yet. I built them. In oh, that's right. The, you uh, built Kepler. it, but you built it in the Kepler. Yeah. And we were both like really kind of blown away at like how, just how good these switches were. And then I got my hands on some dark amber T ones and I really, really liked them. And, you know, I told Eric, I was like, these are, these are solid. Like these are really, really solid. Um, and then I kind of, I put a halo stem in them and I was like, man, these are even better. Uh, and then Eric had the idea go, well, why don't you try putting the Moe black stem, which is more similar to a halo stem in there? And I was like, well, this is also really, really, really good. And then again, he was like, all right, well, how's the sound? And I was like, oh, I mean, it sounds like a T1 didn't really change. The T1 already sounds really good. And then he was like, okay, we'll put the Moe black top on it. Do what you did with the Zyko, which is putting, which really at the end of the day, it's putting an opaque top on a clear housing just to darken the sound of it. And I was like, this is a lot better. <laughs> like this is, this sounds good and it feels good. And we kind of took a page from uh mentor book. We saw that she had the seal sw seal switches. Um, and we just kind of were like, we just kind of approached, um, we approached Upas and we're like, you know, Hey, it'd be, pretty chill if we could do something like this and is this uh, possible <laughs> is this even possible and he was like i don't know and we were like okay because it's like we like this and we like this and we like this and can we can we make something because the, the zykos what sucks about zykos is um you have to, it's three switches right you have to buy three different switches or two at the at the minimum uh but yeah. a lot of times three different switches and slap them together and it's an expensive thing uh an expensive process it's great and what i will always say it's worth it for a board probably not more dd looking at you who's got like 12 zyko boards grant he's, he's a 40s user so i'll give him that i'll give him some credit but um but it was kind of you know ever since i made the zyko and then the zykos kind of went up and then they kind they've kind of leveled off people have stopped i feel like ever since the mentorly video came out about zykos people were less Dude, like people just, just now it's like cool to hate Zykos. It's cool yeah, to which, be like they're they're so obnoxious. They're garbage. They're what I'm like, they're they're now don't get me wrong. They're one of my favorite switches because yeah. they're super duper tactile. Um, but it the the more good switches come out, the more Zykos look stupid. Yeah. But sure. like at the time, Zykos were were like this is amazing. This is something new. This is something great. And now that all these other switches are out, it's like, oh, sorry. And, and I feel that exactly the same way for those who don't know, by the way, Zyko's Zelio Z Y K Z Y K O. All right. Zelio Z Y K from Yawk from the Panda top. O from the halo Zyko. It's not a meme. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> so, um, imagine what Holy, exactly. Imagine the same thing with Holy Panda. It's like, it came out at a time where switches, especially tactile switches, were boring. It was Holy Pandas, Zeals. T1s were there, but they weren't, they didn't really hold a candle as much to a, a Holy Panda, um, especially they, those they early ones. Failed. Yeah, the early ones those were just early like... ones were rough. Um, so... You know, for the longest time, you know, Eric and I were, it's, you know, people, oh, would you ever sell these like fully? I was like, no, because that would have to, I would have to get zeal. Yeah. To work with drop. That's which not is not going to happen. <laughs> so um, can we get a new clicky shape up? Yeah. Zeal. Can we get a new clicky shake up? <laughs> Dude. But we have um, we have a picture. So mm -hmm. these. Are the switches. So this is them. This is a picture of the, the switches that are, are being made and will be out soon. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah. If you can't tell, there are colors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what it is, um, it's got the opaque top like the Moe Black does. Um, it's got the Moe Black stem. 
Uh, it is a raised pole. You can kind of tell in this picture uh, where the stem is poking out just a little bit further. It's got that raised stem. And then that bottom is actually a clear bottom. It's just really, really dark. Yeah, super um, smoky. So uh, it's going to have it's going to have that brighter sound because of that. But essentially, it's just a T1 amber, but not amber. It's just a T1 bottom. Um, and I actually forgot the spring weight because I'm probably going to change it. <laughs> I think it's 67. Is it 67? I, I think, think it's 67. 67. That, that sounds right. So I had wanted to do 78. Um, and he respectfully said, fuck off with that. <laughs> He's like, I want to actually sell these switches. And I was like, okay, okay, fine. Um, so those are on the way to us right now. Got shipping notification. Um, very, very excited about these T1 Linda. <laughs> here's, a, here's a better picture of them. Yeah. You can see the, the different pieces, the different components to the switch. Um, so yeah, really excited about them. Can't wait to get them in. Um, I would have loved to have done the symmetrical 69 gram. I think that's actually what I will end up using in them. Um, Honestly, I might try that as well because that's what I was leaning to. Ironically, that's what I was leaning towards too. It's like uh, they're gonna they're gonna be linears at the 85 and 150 grams, but at 69, it might be it might be a solid one. So, but yeah, yeah, and uh, I'm trying to remember. Um, See. I always yeah. wonder how people do these crazy things into their keyboards and PCBs and try to use 100, 150 gram springs. And I go, ooh, so you get in boxing match with keyboard to type. Didn't know that was the style. I mean, I love I have a 98 gram keyboard that I love. It's probably number two, soon to be number three. Um on my list and I'm about to build a 150 gram keyboard mainly because it's fun. Right. And also if you haven't ever typed on something that heavy, like the term creamy doesn't mean anything until you get into that, like 80, 90, hundred gram where it's like heavy. It's like, Ooh. it's, it's, it's great. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, and, and I want you to know now I use the 98 grams so the hundred gram basically. Uh, as a daily, I will use that as a daily. I will game with that. I will do all that. The 150 gram, probably not. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, um, but yeah, so these are the switches. They are the Mexon deck colors. Um, we started making these a few months ago before we had even done, like we had, we had the colors for the cut for the logo change and all that. Uh, for anyone who's new here, our old logo was different and it was more of a, um, more of a, a teal, like a turquoise and less of a, this it is now a sage green. Um, but the, these are going to be going on sale soon. Uh, I think Eric will probably be showing them off first, uh, on the 19th. Yep. Um, and then I will be building my Baca 70, which I'm really happy that these came in. I'll be building my Baca 70 with them on the 25th. So, and I believe they're going to go on sale the 19th. So it should be, I, I think they're going to be a solid switch. Uh, a couple people are getting them for review. So, and yes, Canon keys are, they will be the vendor for them. Um, and it's so. 65 gram springs. That's what I, I went gram. back and looked. Um, 65 okay. gram so springs, 65. full nylon housing, opaque top, uh, clear bottom. Uh, and the, uh, basically the stem from a Moyu black, they are, lubed uh with the same style of lubing um that the lavenders and the t1 uh dark ambers are so it's a, a really solid um consistent lube from from the factory uh you can obviously add more if you'd like uh and yeah i'm really excited for it we we didn't we didn't talk about the name so yeah so i, I was going to get to that after you finished yeah so What's in a name, right? Psycho switches, whatever. Um, for those who don't know, I designed, I co-designed the Baca 60 and then lost one of my best friends and uh, my dog named Squid. And I renamed for a spe special run 
I renamed the board the Squid 60. Well, we were trying to come up with a name for this switch and we couldn't really land on anything that we liked. Um, and we didn't, we were kind of like, we were like, well, we don't really have like a word associated with us except for MOD, which already, but exists. mod switches <laughs> exist. And we were kind of like, man, that would have been cool. But mod switches psycho too. Uh, <laughs> We joked so, about like how pissed off do you think we, people would be if we just were like we just called them Zykos. They're, they're Zykos. They're Zykos now. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'll let. Why don't you show off what the name is? <laughs> hey, bud. Come here. So we figured we got the Squid 60. I might as well give Anubis his turn. Come here, bud. So they're going to be called the Anubis Switch. After my uh, my pupper. Yeah, so we are officially naming. They are named. I even got like a thing with like Anubis switches. So I was like, hell yeah. Uh, so yeah, we we decided to name them Anubis switches uh, because why not? Right. You know, it's like you got to got to treat the puppers. Right. Uh, we'll we'll figure out something. We got to get like a Howie keycap set. We were talking about that a Howie PCB. Uh, yes. Puppers. Oh, maybe that's what I should name the Baca 70 PCB. The Howie 70. Dude, do it. Maybe it's Or just get like a screen print of him on it. Ow. You're scratching me, bud. Double. Let's see. I don't have a I don't have a puppy cam. Sorry, not as cool. I can guarantee you. Anubis, Anubis is like, I am. Uh, I was asleep. How dare you wake? <laughs> How dare you wake me for this? So, um, Osiris and Anubis switches. Yeah, I mean. It works we, out, right? It, it, it is, works out. It is. Uh, so for all those who don't know, the, the entire reason why he is named Anubis is because my, obviously I, Osiris has been my, my in-game name since I started playing video games, which is way later than most people whenever I built a computer in 2015. But when we adopted an, Anubis, I was like, I'm going to name him Anubis because that's Osiris's adopted son. Fitz. It's my Fitz. adopted Perfect. son. Perfect. Anubis was Osiris's adopted son. There it is. And if you have a Squid 60 major points, if you put Anubis switches in it. True. Props. Pro Maybe we'll get a Howie Artisan. That would be sweet. That would be cool. A little Howie Artisan. Hellbent. Where you at, bro? <laughs> So, uh, but yeah, that's been, um, excited. I'm excited about those they are probably going to be in that same price range. Um, so, you know, not the, not the cheapest switches on the market, but not the most expensive either. Uh, let me look up how much, so these Neapolitans are 50 for 70. Um, so you're, it is a, a little on the, on the pricier side. Neapolitan switches are out now, by the way, great switch. Excuse me. I will be building the Neapolitans in the same night. I will be building um, the Anubis switches. So you can get both. But yeah, it's at like just over 70 cents a switch. It's a little pricey. Now, these are two different manufacturers, so it probably it w might be cheaper. But um excited for the next month of builds because lots of cool switches. And again, kind of like what I was touching on earlier, it's so funny to me that Zykos are only going to get worse, but that is the whole point of them, right? You make something great and then it will casually get or it will casually um, and slowly get less cool and less good as better things come. Kind of like the Holy Panda, right? The Holy Panda used to be the talk of the town. People were fucking sp spending six dollars a switch on them. Ridiculous prices. Good job, Brian. Thank you for destroying the keyboard market it was your fault if you have holy panda questions ask quakums uh 
<laughs> but he's gonna be so mad at me. <laughs> so, um, but if you know, th- those slowly got worse, right? Not worse, but they slowly became. I was like, okay, well, now all these other switches are doing just as well. That's the whole point. I don't care. I, I, I am not sitting there yelling at people to buy Zykos. I don't profit from Zykos. It's just a cool switch. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the hobby would kind of suck if we didn't progress in two years. I mean, mm-hmm. like, Zykos, it was 2019. Like, it the, was September 13th of 2019. When yeah. I sent Eric a picture and said, these are fucking weird. <laughs> yeah. And I think they hit their peak mid-2020, and they've kind of fallen off since. And, I mean... Like I said, they're great switches. They're fun. They're but in a in a time where there just wasn't that much around, they were something fresh and new. And they are still incredibly fucking tactile switches. Uh, but just there's just a lot of other really good things around. Um, so, yeah. but anyway, uh, we've got keyboard of the week. Yeah, we do. We got uh, we got some some cool boards take a look at some uh one that i already know you're you're probably just gonna pick based off of the keycap set um yeah but it's also on a uh, 65 percent true true (laughs) true i'll go with this one all right all right so number one this looks to be a um oh i already lost track i keep saying cara in my head but it's not it's a, uh, I think it's a, a, uh, I don't know why I'm looking at the tiny one. Uh, I think it's an M65 actually, or a Koyu. M65. I think it's a Koyu. Could be a Koyu. 65% not my keyboard hobby friend. Absolutely. It could be a Koyu. Looks like definitely a Rama board. M65B maybe. It looks like 65%, an M65B. Six, 65% from Rama. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> they... We've got GMK camping round two um, uh, on this set with some creams, it looks like. And just excellent picture. Um, You know, kind of left some caps hanging there. And uh, yeah, just clean, clean board, clean look. Yeah, it looks really good. I like the usage of uh, novelties here. I think it looks really clean. Um, I think this board gets away with the diving board. I think it looks yeah. it looks good. I think the red uh the uh the accent space bar helps you with the uh with the diving board, but it is the diving board is kind of a crime, I will say, as someone who has done it repeatedly. Uh but yeah, I like it. It looks good. And I like the aesthetics of the photo with the creams there as well as the some other caps, some other uh novelties from um camping. I think it looks good. It looks clean. Um, absolutely next up what do we got this is a this is a good one this is a think 6.5 v2 alu top polycarb bottom cool little uh blend there with gmk future funk uh everglide v2s and marshmallows on fr4 plate from mr scott water this is cool also the desk mat looks awesome and i love that the the little um astronaut is touching the board there on the uh on the left um future funk looks really good it looks really really good good job gmk and so well i can't say because uh tkc didn't had did not provide this if you're wondering he was able to pick this up from extras from australia uh but i don't believe tkc has started shipping yet please tkc let this be something good. Also, of course, they had issues that <laughs> that no one else has had with GMK, <laughs> which is just the entirety of the left or uh, uh, right shift. The 1.75 U shift is just non-existent. Um, so that's wait the the 1.75 U shift is not. They didn't make it. I think it's there's a lot of kits that it's missing. Um, there's a lot of base kits where it doesn't have it. Like this one here doesn't have it. You can see he's got a control on the, oh. uh, I'm on wondering the, if it's every, right cause if it's every, it's probably TKC's fault. We'll I say see. probably, but 
the it, GMK will fix it if TKC yeah. actually ordered it. If TKC actually ordered it, then who knows what TKC will do? Yeah, I mean it'll go. It'll get fixed either way. It's just like a matter of time. Um, but yeah, I think someone it, uh, named Greasy good. Greg in Idaho has a small trailer full of dude. Them. Yeah, Future Funk looks like it turned out really well. It's so. not all of them. Okay, yeah. So it's not all of them. It's just some of them are missing. Which sounds to me like a GMK issue, not yeah. a, not anyone else. Which, so it's like which a GMK will get that fixed. Moving too fast. No yeah. theme for June, just pretty pictures, Ozzy. Pretty, pretty, pretty pictures. So, um, speaking of. next, speaking up, pretty pictures. A frequent pretty picture taker, Mister Dutch Master, taking pictures of the TX sixty five V two. Love the bottom of it. The bottom looks good but overall i don't like the new tx65 v2s or this tx v2s as much uh but you did take a fantastic picture it looks great with your boy k thank you for the raid appreciate Hope you had it, a good build stream tonight um but yeah this is uh you know excellent board um I love, I've, i'm a huge fan of the tx boards um and it's funny that, you know, I was talking about this the other like last week about like, oh, well, I didn't try and fucking hide the fact that the Bacchus 60 heavily inspired by the TX 75 or TX 60. TX 60 is literally my my personal Instagram profile picture. <laughs> like, Not trying to hide it anyway. Uh, and Mizu Mizu looks really fucking good on like a cool gray board. Yeah, this looks great. It's just like a really cool desk setup too. like the aesthetics of this picture overall look really cool. You've got the you know the plants the little toy i don't know what toy that is but it looks cool um but yeah this looks like a really great just like overall desk setup um m65 or not m65 sorry tx65 v2 looking good looking good and for those who want to see i'll show this picture cuz cuz you know he posted this as well that booty dough also that looks booty. looks nice the the butt Hashtag looks key butts looks good so it was hard to decide which picture to to use but i figured might as well show the uh the actual top of the keyboard rather than that behind but it whew. absolutely so next up we have an s65 light by not from sam with geek arcs 9009 russian alphas so this is an f rowless tkl um very clean looking board i love the wind keyless i love um when 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 you when anyone wonders what i see when i look at a 65 percent, this is what i see <laughs> dude this like i just i know he's posted before with this you know a picture of a board on this same ledge in his apartment or her apartment i don't know um but man it looks really cool like this just looks really cool and the board looks great <laughs> yeah it's it's great shot absolutely <laughs> great shot and ozzy we will we'll probably stop at yours um like we'll stop for yours so yours will get in but guys remember all month we're gonna stop at ozzy's who just posted i'm gonna post a little stop here um or just end of week so everything after the message I just sent, it will go for next week, but please feel free to post pictures all week long. Uh, next up, we have got some cool little, little, little trinkets yeah, with stickers with the board of the month, the board of the, the, of, I guess last month, I would say it's probably more the board of May. Um, one of the more hype boards to come out in a hot minute, the seven V poking out you got the uh gmk copper on there as well as a very cool little um mech artisan yeah a couple little cool artisans there um also like how you are protecting your stainless steel bottom by by leaving that that little uh bit of plastic on there um respect <laughs> do you okay do you remember when Nathan first got his stainless steel bottom number two, like when they first came out and he would keep it on a paper towel? Yeah. And he would move like the paper towel with it every time he moved his keyboard. It was 
It was hilarious. He's so anal about making sure it didn't get scratched on the bottom. Um, <laughs> dude, yeah. But yeah, this uh this looks good. Seven V looks awesome. GMK Copper, I think, is a set that people Slept. really it's a sleeper. Yeah, people are really liking it. And I think it's one of those sets that I w- I'm surprised that people are liking it as much as they are because it's a little bit more out there with the uh with the coloring. Um orangish tones don't typically get a lot of love in the community. Um but next up we've got we got another one. We got another 7V that man, this picture, the chosen one, this looks awesome. It looks like it's floating. Um but yeah, this is a a 7V with a 9009. What yep, do you think? 2009. Jim? It looks good. I like the. I'm curious to see what he has. He's got the the relegendables. I think that's what they're called. The relegendable keycaps on that top row. I, you know, this is when that blue really sticks out. We've talked about before the. Sometimes you got to let the board be in charge, in terms of like how something how cool something looks. So you pick a set like this so it accents the board instead of the board kind of accenting the the keycap so the board is the focus of this and with the 7v i don't blame them it's a it's an amazing board um yeah a fantastic fantastic looking board it's like it's like old school and new age coming yep. together it looks it looks cool he's using he's even using the alt gr dude and mm-hmm. the uh the caps with the the windows on them for for your your highlighter oh, green yeah. LED to come through. Hell yeah. So very, very cool. Um, and, and excellent composition. The chosen yeah. one. Well done. Yeah, it looks great. Speaking of composition. Yeah. The king of composition himself. Who honestly should just be banned from taking pictures and submitting them on this because his pictures are This really, really photo good. is so big that it actually had to load. <laughs> like it loaded like, like bloop, bloop, bloop. But man, dude, this is a constellation with CRP two twenty five fifty one HAD from Aussie Obsessions, and man, this just looks awesome. It looks great, and I spy a quartz user. If you zoom in, that's a quartz. We got that Q W E R T. Look at okay, Z. Everyone in chat, look at how far I can zoom into this picture. Oh my god. Let me get not zoom in 350,000 time percent. Oh man, this looks so good. This is just like This is This is like begging to be like a poster. Like if if there needed to be like a a poster like we've seen the the with uh, GMK Symbiotic that's coming out here as well at here this month. And then um, with like Dracula, how they had the poster. If constellation goes again, they need to hit up Ozzy and be like, can we use this as our poster? This would fit perfect for like a movie. Plus you can have yeah. the title up top and then you can have your like little thank you stuff underneath the board. Dude. It would look great. Fantastic. Fantastic. Thank you for all your awesome submissions. What are you going with? What am I going with right here? This I'm choosing the, yes, the yes. Aussie Obsessions one. <laughs> kidding me? This thing's nuts. What about you? Um, I don't know yet. I'm I'm, I'm kind of torn. So let me get this first one in here. We'll type it. Out. We'll do purple constellation. And what do I want? There, there's some. Fucking these these next two months are gonna be hard. Yeah, when you composition, it's hard. It's it's different. I really like the chosen one seven V, but I also really like Dutch Masters TX sixty five. But I think I'm gonna go just solely on on uh, board size. I'm gonna go with the seven V. Are you? (laughs) Yep. So basically what you're saying is you're setting the precedent of if it's a 65%, there's a not slimmer chance that I will pick it slimmer size slimmer. matters as double day. 
So, guys, go ahead, get your votes in. Got the Cloudy 7V versus the Constellation uh, that is going up for three minutes. And while we get those votes coming in, I want to talk to you about our awesome sponsors. We've got Omnitype first and foremost. Uh, Omnitype, we did GMK Dual Shot, did just wrap up, but uh, GMK Symbiote coming out very soon. Um, symbiote, so not symbiotic. Be, it's called a symbiotic. Symbiote. Symbiote uh, is going to be coming out very soon. So just stick with us for more news on that, um, as that is a a lot of people looking forward to that. Next up, we got candykeys.com slash mechs on deck. Jim K British Racing Green is still in group buy right now. We've also got the Neapolitan ice cream switches. Fantastic switch. I'll try to build with them. They're great, great switches. Uh, so definitely be sure to pick some of those up. They've also got a lot of keyboards just in stock. Sorry you missed the Bakken Echo 60. There's a lot of layouts. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a lot of cool stuff. Uh, also some desk mats and other things there. So be sure to check that out. Next up, we have Kinetic Labs. They've got the salmon switches, which I typed on with the Saturn for a long time. Really enjoying those. Got a lot of other awesome switches on there. They've also got some keycap sets, some lube brushes, lube, storage. Kinetic Labs has a lot of stuff you didn't even know you needed. So be sure to go swing by and check out uh, kinetic labs and last but not least mexondeck.project.link the serious at the moment sold out lavender switches sold out but the serious will make its return as well as uh gmk um oh man bing -Su. wow bing -Su. i almost said gmk baka neko because that's not a thing uh gmk bing -Su round two coming soon so be sure to stay on the lookout for that what about our partners? Yeah. So shout outs to our partners, Zap Cables. Head on over to zapcables.com. Pick yourself up a custom cable kit. You can make your own USB cable. We got a video that'll show you how to do that. As well as they've got some cool desk mats, so check them out over there. Uh, go to TypeBeast, typebea.st. Sign up for their newsletter. Put them out every couple of weeks. Stay in the know uh, with some things that are happening in the community. Uh, and then Smith Room or Smith and Rune, go to smithrune.com. Uh, check out more info about the Iron 180 and the Iron 165. Uh, extras of both of those boards will be coming soon after they release. Um, and then, of course, that ever so anticipated Iron 165 Polycarb Edition will be an in-stock buy coming out later this year. Uh, so be in the news, uh, be in the know on that by checking out smithrune.com. And then last but not least, 3D Keebs. Head on over to 3dkeeves.com and just check out everything they've got. They got tons of cool stuff. They're opening everything back up here soon. Uh, Davis is getting better. Uh, she's healing. Uh, so shout outs to Davis. And again, don't drink and drive. Don't be an idiot. Don't be an yep. asshole. Absolutely. The cloud, this is probably the tightest it's been by one vote. The Dude. cloudy 7V beating out the purple constellation. The hype. The 7v's got hype 7v's got hype right? so congratulations to the chosen one uh you will it is you will be entered at the end of the month um for i'm gonna go ahead and pin it now because um well oftentimes by the end of the month we're like fuck we're like wait who won that week <laughs> uh so but yeah um tomorrow we've got p wade pawadi as I like to call him when I'm looking for him on my uh, name. He's, he is the designer of GMK Taro. He also did GMK. I uh, just went blank on uh, My brain is like not functioning. Analog Dreams, which is Analog running right Dreams, now. Analog Dreams, which is running right now. It's also sitting on my wife's desk right over. I'm reading a book, and I think that's what it is. My brain's like, whoa, too much shit's going on. Uh, so anyway, can't handle it. Brain overload. Can't handle, yeah, brain overload. Exactly. So, um got him coming on tomorrow super excited to talk to him because we actually tried multiple times but with stream schedules um he had he recently changed it uh and that was able to uh bring him on so tomorrow we'll have him on 8 p.m uh what book i am reading the name of the wind by patrick rothfuss um but yeah so come check us out tomorrow and i will get us set up for a little rady bears Ooh, a little Rady Bears. And uh, then Saturday, come hang out with, uh, with Chewy. He's going to be 
building a uh what are you building you're rebuilding your sm60 that's what it is you're uh you're 60 percent from sm keyboards we call it the sm60 it's just a 60 percent from sm keyboards but he's gonna be real rebuilding that 12 p.m central so come hang out with uh with dave while he does that it'll be a good time it'll be fun absolutely so i'm gonna start this raid for tiny we haven't raided tiny oh so she's playing some some uh some games right now oh fancy well, with that being said, we're going to be closing it up tonight. Uh, but we'll be seeing y'all again tomorrow. Be sure to come back. We got P. Wade uh, tomorrow. So come hang out with us tomorrow at 8 p.m. Central and then Saturday at 12 p.m. Central. We'll see y'all. Bye-bye.